Hello, good morning, happy Tuesday to you all. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, and today I am working on the mini spring journal series. Not necessarily that it's a mini journal, but a mini series, because um, it was only ever gonna be seven videos long. And we are now on video six, we've done five already. Um, this is, for those of you that have not been here, this is the journal that we've got so far. It's the insides. We haven't worked on the cover. And today, being day six, because we're working in reverse, today is the day that we make two of something. And what we are going to be making the two of is, whoops, belly bands. So, when we make belly bands, traditionally, obviously, they went around the belly. So, they went across the page. But lots of people have now moved it over so that it becomes a strip down the middle there. So, of course, it's a belly band that way, as it were. Okay. So, what I've got here is uh, one of the pages from my springtime journal kit and I've coffee dyed the back and because this is an inkjet print obviously some of the colours transformed but because I tend to go for grungy I'm very happy with that I have no problem with that at all so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do one of each belly band I'm going to do one that goes across the middle that way and one that comes down so on here I'm going to That's about a third of the page, okay? And I'm simply gonna fold it in half to make sure that I've got a nice thick band going across my middle, okay? So obviously I want to glue that closed. So I'm just gonna add some stick glue use my print stick and seal this closed now i'm aware that obviously this is too big at this stage but we can trim it down when we work out exactly what we need but obviously that on its own is not particularly pretty is it it's just a strip so we need some kind of decoration on that so if we set that to one side for a minute and then because this is the one that's going to go that way and then this one is going down the page but what I want to do on this one is I want to make like a pocket so I'm gonna fold up about an inch okay like so give or take it oh, it's not very straight is it goodness me Claire That looks better. So about an inch, okay. And then I'm gonna fold the long side over again. And this is probably about an inch and three quarters getting on for two inch. And what that's done is it's created a tuck. So we're gonna have our belly band and then we've got a tuck. And again, this is gonna to need to be cut down and decorated so let's first of all make sure we get the right size so we do it like that it's going to be easier so line it up at the bottom bring it to the top and then i'm just going to use my deco ruler to give me the height so there we go that is going to be the height for that one and then obviously we need to measure the width so again lay it on line it up tear it down and in fact you've almost got two for the price of one there but we're only supposed to be making two so I'm going to set that to one side okay and now what I want to do is I want to bring out 
our folder that had all our bits and pieces in so that we can add some decoration to this so whoops what have we got in here well obviously we've got our stamps haven't we we've got bits of fabric we've got some bits of fabric got a little bit of lace another bit of lace we've got some yellow ribbons um, and we have got some die cuts we've got some cheesecloth another little bit of fabric and of course we have our stamps love the butterfly and I quite like that one okay so let's have a look and see what we can do with these from our box and I'm going to pull out my blue ink this is the archival Colbert Colbert blue it's a lovely colour it's always been one of my favourites I'm just going to edge it with the blue rather than the normal vintagey brown colours that we use it is springtime let's make it a little bit more colourful perhaps although I've used both throughout this book I have um, used the vintagey brown on some as well those of you who've been following will know that so we're just going round our edge it is blowing an absolute gale here it's quite bright and sunny but the wind is vicious sounds really quite scary to be honest with you right now I think what I want to do is I want to find I had a small bit of fabric here there it is I'm going to use this bit of fabric minus its strings and I'm going to put that stamp on it so I'm going to bring it down just do a normal stamp like so okay and I think this is yeah this is going to go across this belly one proper belly one I might add a little bit of blue that blue ginghamy fabric okay a little bit of lace I'm just really building up a sort of pretty cluster to make this a little bit more interesting there we go okay so I'm going to stick them on I'm going to use my tacky glue for this so just flip it over pick it back up and then you can see which pieces you need to put on in which order okay I'm just putting glue across the middle there give me a guideline of where I want to be sticking and I'm gonna pick up the cheesecloth first and put that on there and then pick up the lacy bit and put that down Then put a little bit more glue on top of the pieces that you've put down because obviously we've used up that glue now and then I'm just gonna put in my gingham and then obviously I need to glue up on that again and then I'm just gonna put my stamped fabric on top there you go so that's that one and put him up the top there like that so then on this one you obviously need to decide which side you want your pocket I'm going to put it this side because that means it will be nearer the spine which means things won't fall out the edge of your journal okay and I'm going to do a similar type decoration because we want to keep a little bit of consistency so I'm going to put some of this dyed cheesecloth towards the back 
again roughly in the middle this time I'm going to use this thin piece of coffee dyed cotton just pull some threads out give it a little bit of age get rid of those and I like that it's got this extra tear in here I think that just adds to the age of it okay so that's going to sit on there that's going to sit sort of through the middle okay and then I think we're going to have a die cut and have this darker yellow thinner one here it's got some bits that need picking out and what I'm actually going to do I'll show you is I'm going to pull off this leaf because it's too wide so first of all let's poke out our bits because obviously we don't want them in there do we and that one there we'll get rid of them and now because I don't want it overhanging oh there's one there as well look because I don't want it overhanging I want to make sure that it all fits on and it will all fit on if that one's not there so all I'm going to do is snip this off don't be afraid to alter your dies it's, you know this is your artwork you deal with it the way you choose to there you go and we're going to put him on top of that one like that so again flip it over I'm going to put glue across the middle just so as I know where I'm going I'm going to put my cheesecloth down like so I'm then going to put my fabric down because this is so thin and quite long I'm actually putting the glue on the fabric rather than on top of that cheesecloth in the way that I did for the other one okay and then I'm just gonna set that in slightly from the edge press that down and home okay and then obviously we've got our flower so lots of dots here to stick this down um, one of the lovely Facebook members did say uh, when I was doing a live one Sunday that she actually puts glue on the back of her hand and drags the dot through it when it's fiddly like this Obviously, that is another way of doing it. But if you've got sensitive skin, please be careful. You don't want to give yourself an irritation. Okay. So we've glued that up. I can't pick it up now. A lot more fingers and thumbs. Oh. Pick him up. And we want to make sure that it doesn't overlap this bottom side which is why I've turned it on its side there and just bring it in a little bit and back there we go give it a little press down make sure it's stuck and now we've got another pretty band right now bearing in mind that this is the penultimate um, video in this series which means tomorrow would be the last one of putting the cover together and summing it all as a journal we need to put all of our made pieces into this journal so I'm gonna get my 
ink out of the way. Okay, get my scissors out of the way. Get rid of that little piece of die cut. And let's bring out all the pieces that we've made. So we've got the two belly bands. Um, these were just extra tags that I pulled and an envelope that I pulled out of my spring kit. But we have made that bookmark. We made the paper clips. We made the cluster ephemeras. We made the big tags, three of those, that was the last thing we did. Okay, so let's just double check that I have got everything I should have because the last thing we did was three bands. So let's do the days. We've got the two bands, we've got the three tags. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of ephemera. That was the very first one. We then did six pages of stamping. We then did five page edge is. And then we did four pockets. Three two one okay so let's put all these in place so going through our pages first of all I'm looking for all of the pockets so I'm going to put that one in there that's a envelope there's another pocket um, use that one in there nice and bright yellow And then we just had that one top spot to the top, which was there. And I'm going to put this extra tag there. You can put any type of ephemera under there or leave it empty. Okay. We've then got this very plain page apart from the edge so this to me would be the perfect place to put this belly band so what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to put a little bit of glue across the top there and across the bottom and i'm going to seal the top and bottom because we only want the middle bit open okay and then glue across the bottom glue across the top put that in place and stick it down okay and then we've got that one to go behind and we've got that one to go in the pocket all right I'm not going to leave it there but just to show you how that would work okay so that's that one then come to the back for the other belly band um, should we do it on this one here we'll put it so find the middle and the edge and pop 
that in the center just simply adding glue to both sides make sure you've got it straight press that down and I'm going to touch that one behind there there you go all right so now we've got our original pieces from the very beginning so this one's now got decoration on this one's very busy this is a small one that's got quite a lot of decoration on but this one's empty you know quite empty and plain so i'm going to put one of my paper clips up there And this one's got an edge and a pretty page but this one is quite plain so I'm going to stick my cluster there but if we only glue on the two sides it will double as a tuck spot okay so I'm going to put that one there like so and then if we want to we can tuck in behind as well we've got another empty page here now this was our flip so we can put this up the page a little bit and we put glue on the flat all the way around the edge through the middle flip it over make sure of where you want it and just press it down okay and that one is on there like that let's go to the back make sure we're not ignoring the back now that one again we just glue on two sides we've created a tuck spot allow you to store lots of stuff in this one okay give it a good press down that's that one and then if we come in a little bit that's a nice busy page there this is quite busy with its edge and our stamping we've got a pocket there and a pattern but these two are quite plain so do we want to use the pocket here again? Yeah, let's use that one there. So again, I'm only gluing two sides. And I'm going to put that about there. Okay. And then we've got our one paper clip and our bookmark. So I'm going to put the paper clip on that plain page there and of course that is still a tuck spot and then I'm just going to put my bookmark in there like so. So that is now, put our bookmark out a little bit, that is now our journal ready for its cover and to be sewn together. So next time I come with the spring journal, not quite sure when that will be yet, we will be sewing it all together and into its cover. So we'll make the cover first of all, and then we'll be sewing it in, okay? And all I've done to add to the six pages that we had originally that we stamped is I've used the pages from my spring kit but you can use any pages you like for that. You could use book pages, magazine pages, whatever. Okay. So as always, thank you so much for spending time with me. Happy crafting. And I'll be back to see you again soon. Bye for now.